guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be starting a new seasonal pan I just finished up my 8 by October pan and I'm pretty happy with how it went um, I feel like I made pretty good progress on some products I did finish some up so I'm pretty excited about panning right now so I really wanted to start another seasonal pan I was debating not doing one because I have my 18 and 2018 I'll end also my Taylor Swift pan going on right now. So I was wondering if maybe that was enough and that I definitely didn't need to put myself, you know, give myself more stress into panning. But I decided I wanted to give it a go, bring in the rest of the products that I didn't use up from the October pan and then a couple other things that I either just want to get more use out of or that I'm already pretty close to using up. So without further ado, let's jump into the products I'm gonna try to use up. Oh, I didn't tell you, this is called Nine by New Year's. So I basically just wanna use up or use more of these products by New Year. So let's start off with the products that are rolling in from my 8 by October. First up, we have the little dual ended Urban Decay Eyeliner. So this has Perversion and Pistol on either side. I've definitely used more of Perversion than I have of Pistol. I really just want to finish this up. I think I definitely will be able to finish up the Perversion side. Um, and I'm gonna try to use up Pistol. Maybe if I use up the black one, I won't bring in another black eyeliner into my everyday makeup drawer and will just keep using the Pistol. Um, Pistol isn't my favorite just because I don't feel like it is quite enough of an, like it doesn't have quite enough of an oomph for me um, to really show up. I do like like a darker, you know, more like in your face tight line. So that is one thing. It's super metallic and sometimes not the look I'm going for, but I'm gonna try to use it a little bit more. Um, I have realized these aren't my favorite eyeliners and that I definitely found ones that I'd like more. These were my favorite when I started makeup, but not so much anymore. But hopefully I can make good progress. Next up for stuff that is rolling in from the last pan, this is the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder in Translucent. I find that I definitely use liquid foundations more in the cooler months, so hopefully and now that we're going into fall and October and winter and just like the best time of the year right now, um, I will be able to use translucent powder a little bit more because I will be using those liquid products and I have an oily face that's a nice way of putting that. I have oily skin, so I definitely need to set all my liquid uh, products. So hopefully this will roll out. I do find that I can use a lot of this in one go without looking crazy. So hopefully this is gonna be out. Next up we have the never ending bronzer and that is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Uh, this is a tiny little deluxe sample. It's like two grams or something crazy. Something crazy like that. How many grams? Two and a half grams. Um, and it looks like I haven't used it, but I've been using it all for a freaking year. Go figure. Uh, this is dark for me, so I don't need much. I'm going to use the same spiel I always give with this. Like, I'm kind of sick of talking about it at this point. So, basically, this is in this pan. We're going to see. I don't have a lot of hope, but we'll see. Next up for rolled over products, this is my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. That is where I am with that. So as far as this goes, you don't need a lot of it. A little bit goes a long way. So this does, you know, take a while to use up, at least in my experience. Uh, yeah, so we will see. I'm hoping that I can get this out and I can like move on to concealers I actually enjoy, like the Urban Decay Naked Skin or the NARS Creamy Concealer because I don't really love this. This is just not up my alley. I just find it to be a little too thick for my liking and a little too hard to set down, but uh, we're gonna use it up. And that's all, that's all I'm here to do is use this crap up. And last up for rolled over products, we have my Tarte Brazilliance, uh, wow, I forgot what this was, Tarte Brazilliance Self Tanner. Um, I know it feels really stupid to put in a self tanner in the middle of, or the beginning of fall, going into winter, especially when you're as pale as I am, but, um, why not? I mean, I know I wear jeans and sweaters for most of the cooler months, so you don't actually see my pale skin, but, like, I can know that I got a nice tan going on. I don't know. I just want this gone. It's getting old and I should have used it up in the summer, but I didn't because I was lazy and didn't want to self tan. So hopefully this will uh, be gone 
basically. Like, like everything else I'm hoping is gone. Next up, I have really been enjoying picking out an eyeshadow from the palette I'm trying to pan this year, my Urban Decay Naked palette, and really focusing on it. And I've actually found that that really works. So not only do I get to add a pan into my overall, you know, yearly pan, I also, you know, feel accomplished with this smaller goal. So I think for this next three months, I really want to focus on using Buck. So this, you know, medium brown shade right there. Um, I do like it as a crease color. Um, I find that Naked is a really nice transition shade and to use Buck in the crease with it just looks really nice on me. So I'm hoping, you know, it's a super boring color. It's not one of the fun ones, but I'm already trying to use Toasted in my Taylor pan. So I figured using a nice matte brown shade will be a hopefully easier thing to do, but who knows? I have no idea with this, but we'll see. We'll see how we are at the next update. So next up, we have the like three new products I'm incorporating into this pan. The first up is my Nivea Lip Butter in Raspberry Rose Kiss. So I probably would have used this as much, like I probably hopefully would have used this up by the end of the year anyway, but I wanted to put this in here just to like see my progress. So I have so much pan on this thing, so I really only have up in there. Um, and that's why I really feel like this is a reasonable expectation to have this gone by the end of the year. Um, I really do love these. I do only use them at home, which is what really slows down my progress on these because I'm not going to bring this in my purse and have like my dirty fingers like while I'm at Target like after I've touched things and then go and no that's gross. I really only use this at home when I've washed my hands so like right before I do my makeup with clean fingers or like right before I go to bed when I have clean fingers that do I reach into this so I just want to like use it more think of it more when I'm at home. Um, it's not like I can put this in my purse with me so it's really just at home use but um, how many times can I say that I only use this at home? So hopefully it's gone soon. Next up we have something that I don't do a lot of hair stuff in my projects but I figured I would throw this in here because it is something I want gone pretty soon. And this is my Tony and Guy Classic Shine Gloss Serum. This is not my favorite hair serum. Um, I don't feel like it does much for my hair. Obviously it only makes it shiny so like what else is it gonna do? But um, I have been using this on a daily basis as it is so I just figured I would throw it into a project because if I'm gonna use something and I'm probably gonna use it up, why not throw it in a project? Make it a gimme product, anyway. Um, yeah, so this is gonna officially be in the project. I'm pretty excited about it. I don't think I have much left. You really can't track this. It's got an airless pump, but like really can't tell where I am with this. I will try to mark it, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. So hopefully this is gone soon. And last up, this is a skincare product that I do not expect to be done with, nor do I hope I'm done with by the end of the year. This is just something that I'm hoping by putting in the project will encourage me to use and to like get into a nightly skincare routine and like be a decent human. Um, and that is my Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. So I got this for Christmas going on two years ago, so I mean... I need to use it. I need to use it up and um, I will mark it in a little bit, but I don't use this as much as I should. You don't need much of this. The smell of this can kind of like give you a headache if you're not careful, but I don't use it most nights because I'm an awful human and I basically like take my makeup off and go to bed and like it's awful. So I'm hoping that by putting this in the project, I will encourage myself to adopt a skincare routine and this can be the little finishing product of it. Um, I try to go back and forth with this and my virgin marula oil from Drunk Elephant because I just don't want to dry my skin out too much. But yeah, hopefully I can make some progress on this. I by no means think I'm going to be able to use this up. I just, I want to get use out of it and I want it to instill a habit. So those are the, all the products I'm going to be trying to use up or make better progress on between now and the new year. I'm super excited about it. I'm feeling very optimistic and encouraged about panning right now. So hopefully that will transfer into some progress. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff. And I will see you guys again really soon. Bye.